Hey Summers. Hi everyone. Welcome to Make Two and an original house design. This is in Your Town Sims Peaks. I designed it, however. It's next to the swim center and whatever this is, the town hall, I think. So we had done a neighbor visit a while back where we saw like a Japanese couch and I remarked that we yeah. haven't actually done anything Japanese themed in a long time. In a long time though. We had out, we've got Japanese castles. Yeah. Um, but since then we haven't really done anything, and that was really early on. Yeah. Normally, or it used to be, I say normally, but it used to be in the game that when you built the Japanese retreat, which is how this house began, because you can tell from the special fence originally, you couldn't move this thing. This was like cemented in the lot. It was a recent update that allowed us to move it around, so I decided to make that the centerpiece of the house. Cool. So basically, the path goes through here and I kind of wanted to go for a wood and rustic feel to the house and so all of the entrances are accessible via this like wooden walkway patio thing which goes in between all the stone patios and it required some really careful drawing of the patios because if you have two different patterns of patios and you change one and they're touching, it'll change the entire thing. So if you want to make sure to have one pattern of patio next to another pattern of patio, you have to be really careful about how you join them up later. Anyway, <laughs> just letting you guys know, I redrew it several times. Over here is a small Japanese kind of temple area. I just figured something like that would be nice to have attached to the house. You can't access it via anything other than these doorways here. We've actually done other Japanese themed homes which we'll link to as well where we've got a similar sort of structure. Yeah, I think it's nice having spaces where yeah, there's just a flow from inside to outside. Yeah, it's meant to be just like a contemplative space. Basically mm -hmm. the whole theme of this house is simple, peaceful, and rustic. Here is the entrance onto the living room. Well, there are two entrances onto the living room, but you'll see it's a little bit kind of quirky. So there are just a couple of these Japanese couches, as mentioned before, yeah. facing each other across the table. And you've got a couple of these armchairs with bonsai tree over here, just a small furnace and Japanese screen there, bookcase. Basically, there is no technology in the house because yeah. it's meant to be a retreat. Over here is the dining room. Again, it only has two entrances, and this is one of them. The dining room is focused around this new set of table and chairs, which we just got with the romance update in February 2016. And I just decided to put a bit of a sideboard on the back here. I really like these corner units, but they basically just seem like more decoration than anything else. Like, mm -hmm. I wouldn't necessarily put them in a kitchen for much use. But speaking of the kitchen, this is the kitchen. It's actually a separate building. It's not quite visible from uh, yeah. the roof view because they're too close to each other, but... Yeah, which, yeah. I don't know how old this house is, but originally kitchens always used to be a separate building <laughs> from the, the main house because of fear of fire. Do you think in Japan that was the case, maybe? I don't know. I just thought... Well, also, this is one that's got stone walls, yeah. and the others have paper walls, it looks like. Exactly. I went for the stone walls because there was possible fire hazards and the stone floor as well. And basically it's just a kitchen with the usual stuff all around. Then off of the dining room is access to a small offshoot hallway, which then gets into the bathroom. Yep, a signature three-piece bathroom. This is actually Three. a four-piece bathroom. Uh, <laughs> right, okay. So you've got the sink here. Sink. You've got the special hot tub here, sort of yeah. the Japanese style of hot tub. It's called an onsen, where it's meant to be a communal bath. <laughs> then through here is a shower for rinsing off. Right, and then a uh, no, toilet. Uh, toilet right in the corner. Yeah. Yeah, how do you get into that bedroom? Through here. Oh, uh, so you go back outside. Yeah. Right, so there's kind of like three or four different parts of the house. Exactly. Which aren't, aren't connected by any other way than the garden. Yeah. Yeah. Basically because the idea was you'd want people to just come out into the garden to mm -hmm. get around the house. You know, just something interesting at least. Yeah, certainly if you imagine it, this house now being a guest house, that makes a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. So here is one bedroom, just in a very light brown style, but I went for the Chinese couch over here. And then here is the other bedroom, more Japanese themed. So it's got the Japanese bed and bedside tables, wardrobe, but this time with a 
chess board from the wizard cottage, but I thought that actually like worked out mm. very well. It's some of the designs complement each other pretty well. And then around the outside of the house, you have some landscaping with these plants, and then here are some peaceful, contemplative benches to just sit and enjoy nature、yeah. <laughs> next to、oh, like、bamboo、that. trees and outdoor lights. I do think the Japanese theme of furniture and windows and everything is. Yeah, the most peaceful and picturesque in the game. Yeah, I think they did a really good job with the artwork for this theme. I like using the stuff, but we just haven't in a while.、Mm -hmm. And really good work on the patios. I know you <laughs> struggled. <laughs> I heard you from the other side of the room struggling, but I think it works out really well. Cool. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this tour. Please let us know in the comments what you think, and if you are new to our channel, feel free to subscribe because we've got plenty more Sims Free Play videos on the way. Thanks for watching.